Zack Snyder's Justice League is now hit HBO Max and is out for everyone to watch. Basically, you guys all know the story behind the Snyder Cut and everything. It's the same story. Stephen Wolf comes down looking for the mother boxes. Our heroes have to save him. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I felt, felt about the Snyder Cut. One that I have in my top 10 most anticipated films of the year. I'm going to tell you exactly. Did I love it? Did I hate it? Was it mixed? I don't know. We're going to find out. But let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the Snyder Cut? I want to know. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's jump into this review. Perfect. Okay, so this Snyder Cut has hit HBO Max. Look, growing up, the Justice League was the band of heroes that I loved and adore. Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Green Lantern, Aquaman. I mean, we had the theme park here in at the Gold Coast, Warner Brothers um, Movie World. And that's where I saw all of them and I loved them. I absolutely loved them. Grew up watching them. The Justice League movie that we got in 2017 came out. And I was so disappointed. Absolutely hated that film. Bad characters. Just no arcs for any of them. Terrible villain. No motive. Nothing. Terrible looking design. Then we hear this story about the Snyder Cut. And it finally got made. I watched the trailers. I was so excited. Stefan Wolf looked amazing. Black cape. Black um, Superman. The Oh, it was just so looked so good. I finally watched it. I've been hyping it down. Been counting down all day. What did I think of it? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm going to be dead set honest. It's hard. It's hard for me to say this, but I fucking loved it. Oh my God. It was so, it was everything I wanted in a Justice League film. This was everything. Zack's, I have to give it to Zack Snyder here. I love Man of Steel. I'm not the biggest fan of Batman vs Superman, although I did watch the Ultimate Edition, and I kind of think it's okay. It's an average film. I still have a lot of problems with it, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I'm a bit mixed on his DC stuff, but after watching Justice League, the Snyder Cut, I just absolutely am gobsmacked. It was amazing. This... How the hell this never got released and made as the prop... Whatever Warner Brothers did to give us that shitty-ass 2017 one compared to this one, that one, it, this Snyder Cut makes me hate that Justice League a lot more now. I just see the difference. The major difference. Let's start off with Stefan Wolf, for instance. He looks so much meaner, so much villainous, so much better and scarier in this in the Snyder Cut compared to the the one we got in 2017. It looks so much better. But what does it is he's actually a character in the Snyder Cut. He has a motive. We learn his backstory. We learn he's been casted out by Darkseid. He's got motive. The the Josh Whedon one has no motive. He's just there. And he looks terrible. This one has a motive. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I understand why he's doing what he's doing. Fantastic. And he doesn't bitch out. Like in the 2071 where he bitches out at the end. And he's like, oh, I'm dying. Oh, no. This one, uh, uh, not Snyder's version. Snyder's version is, boom, I'm going to go until I fucking die. Incredible. Perfect. Cyborg. Absolutely great character arc and great. Oh, uh, how they ever decided they were gonna cut that out, I am baffled because there is so much backstory to his character that makes me really invest. I I never was a massive cyborg fan, especially after watching that 2017 one. After watching Snyder Cut, I am so interested and I love his character in this film. He is absolutely fantastic. I love his character arc. 
the way they used his father in this is just absolutely perfect. The Flash gets some more backstory as well, gets some more development. He's not just there for punchlines. He, they actually give him something to do. He's not just there. Brilliant. The Batman, Ben Affleck, I mean, oh, I love Christian Bale, but after watching the Snyder Cut, I, it's so hard for me to now say, who is the best Batman? Because this just elevates Ben Affleck's Batman. The character arc he goes through in this film is bloody brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. And I tell you what, one of my favorite parts of this is when you see in the trailer, when he, him and Joker are there talking, the exchange between them two was phenomenal. That is one of my favorite parts of this film. I loved their whole conversation. I loved everything about that. And it brought me back to what really makes Joker and Batman. And it was just incredible. That was the best performance Jared Leto has ever done in the Joker. That little section that he is in this film, that's the Joker that I was expecting. Not the one from Suicide Squad, that one. And that's Joker. Brilliant. And Batman, Ben Affleck's Batman, his character arc is brilliant. Superman, absolutely fantastic as well. I love the way that Zack Snyder used him as well. He he just shows how fucking badass Superman really is. Why they are, why he is one of the feared. Like this is why people don't just invade Earth because this guy's around. And oh, it's just it's brilliant. They show you him. Oh, it's just it's so good, absolutely so good. And one of the biggest things that I absolutely love. They never ever just had a character wasted in the 2017. Batman just literally does nothing. In this, they bring back Batman. Zack Snyder gets Batman and delivers. Batman is a fucking badass. He's just not sitting on the sideline. He is there being a badass. Aquaman's a badass. Everyone is utilized brilliantly. No character is wasted. Absolutely phenomenal. Alfred is great as well, and he is a key component to this whole story as well, which I love as well. I love the story. They, the world building. Zack Snyder does a fantastic job of world building. Oh my god, that goes in the mythology. The 2017 didn't really give us that mytholo mythology. This did. This showed us what actually happened 5,000 years ago with the, with the new gods and the old gods. What was going on? Boom. I love that stuff. When you deliver me the lore, the mythology behind these characters, absolutely great. Dark Side looks amazing. Absolutely so stoked to see him on screen. They give us reasons to why he's doing things as well. And now I'm like, cool. I exactly know what Dark Side's reasoning is for what he wants to do and why he's doing the things he does. That's what I love. Absolute love. It looks gorgeous. The cinematography is great. I loved everything about the Snyder Cup. Absolutely fantastic. The pacing... Some bits can be a bit slow, but overall I think the pacing is quite good. It didn't feel like a four hour movie to me. It felt like it was a th three hour movie. Absolutely great pacing to me. Never bored. I was never ever bored in this. Brilliant. There's an absolutely surprise cameo I didn't expect to see. And it was brilliant to see. Absolutely fantastic. Caught me by surprise. Absolutely caught me by surprise. But I think Zack Snyder delivered exactly what we wanted in a Justice League film. And you know what? I'm, I really want to see him do Justice League 2. I really do now want to see his full vision of all four films. Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, Justice League, and Justice League 2. The way it ends, it's all setting up for the second part. And I don't think we're going to get the second part, which is such a shame. Because I just absolutely am so invested in this story now. To me, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it. It's the second best DCEU film behind Man of Steel. I still think Man of Steel is better, but this is second to me. I think it's better than Shazam. I absolutely loved it. It is so good. Now, when I want, do I want to compare this to the... Avengers films? I think that's fair. 
I think it's fair to compare it to the Avengers film. It's on that level. It is on that level. I actually, to be honest, why Endgame does have some great moments, I actually probably think the Snyder Cut's better than Endgame. I do. I think the Snyder Cut's better than Endgame. Absolutely loved it. So let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of the Snyder I'm just so happy. Like, this is what film does. It's I'm so happy. I finally got to see my heroes, a Justice League film that I wanted to see. Something. Zack Snyder delivered. I'm so free. I'm so happy. I am so... It was well worth the wait. I am so happy that I got to witness that and I'm so glad we got to see it. Thank you HBO for funding it and delivering it and giving us. Thank you Zack Snyder and everyone behind it. This is exactly what I wanted. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the Snyder Cut? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Remember it's all opinion based. I want to know. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.